Hi everyone, uh, Fus Mahmoud Chow with you. Uh, our subject today uh, is, uh, is about uh, uh, vertical axis wind turbine and how can we uh, create our model based on uh, create our neural network model based on uh, uh, some uh, data. First of all, you have to uh, open open MATLAB first, okay? After download your model, open MATLAB first and go to your destination folder from here, from this space, okay? Okay, don't open it from your desktop. Just copy your model after you download it and copy it and uh, uh, open MATLAB and then go to your destination folder. So this is my drive, this is my working folder and this is my uh, vertical axis wind turbine. So I I can go from here this one okay so if you open your uh, uh, your uh, folder contents you will find uh, this uh, contents click here and don't forget to sort by name and to group by type in order to organize everything so suppose I, I this is my uh, neural network model I just created uh, and I, I would like to uh, demonstrate with you how can we uh, use it and run it we we already did many th many uh, videos before about vertical axis wind turbine okay first of all we have this is a design model so all we have to to do is to assign design aspects we have operating conditions such as um, uh, atmospheric pressure and atm uh, uh, temperature and all we need to, to do is to assign two uh, main variables. The first one is uh, your total power because this is a design power. In question, sometimes uh, um, some, if you, uh, you, you face an official person or VIP or IP person about a project and he would like to ask you, uh, we need to uh, generate around uh, uh, 500 or 100 uh, kilowatt of power so how many wind turbine we are going to use so this is about uh, uh, such matters suppose we need to uh, uh, 10 kilowatts okay and uh, I have to assign the, the module power module power for man manufacturers are uh, range between if you make your survey you will find it between uh, 0.2 uh, kilowatts up to 50 kilowatts for uh, famous vertical uh, axis wind turbine so suppose I need uh, one kilowatt of power okay and just click OK and let's go inside you will find the following uh, this is neural network so if you click here you will find a neural, neural layers so okay created by uh, MATLAB Simulink so uh, all I have to do is to collect my data in order to generate this. Uh, first of all, if you would like to run, you, you can run this in dynamic mode if you would like. Just to click here. Okay. I have to wait a little bit. Okay. For one kilowatt, just one parameter, it's uh, 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 module power. I'm sorry. This is module power or chip power or unit power. Okay. And we need just... Uh, air physical air properties and thermophysical properties pressure and temperature and your total power farm power okay so you will find the following what air mass flow rate rotor swept area uh, torque uh, wind power power uh, uh, coefficient efficiency number of wind turbines okay and cost okay and uh, this is your code representing these uh, variables this is your code so you can use it okay and we have here neural network okay based on neural network we can generate a starting wind speed we need to uh, uh, categorize our uh, uh, unit power so it will start from 1.8 in order to generate one kilowatt and rated wind speed it's about 11 uh, uh, meter per second and rotor diameter it's about nearly two meter um, uh, motor diameter uh, fin lens this is fin lens okay uh, rotor speed number of blades almost five and uh, voltage 
this is your voltage so we can use these outputs as a main inputs for the for the uh, parameters uh, to calculate the parameters in order to generate a power coefficient uh, wind power number of wind, uh, of the wind turbines and so on suppose i need to uh, run this in dynamic mode so all you have to do is to set your simulation time into infinity and and you can run this and controlling this uh, controlling the power uh, uh, manually or, or moving the cursor by your keyboard arrows left or right so you can you can get uh, get it with the, with the time so our matters today is how can we create this one how can we create uh, how could we create a neural network? Uh, first of all, I, I must uh, increase the, the limitation here. Suppose it's 500. Okay. Okay. Uh, let it be 300, I think. Okay, make another run. Or for, for torque. I think torque is, uh, maybe we need more. 1000 okay uh, so how can i create this um, the brain of your model uh, forget about uh, uh, running in dynamic mode or uh, or single point mode uh, uh, we have uh, many videos about that before this is your output results so you can collect from here okay you can collect collect your results you can go for a data inspector from here in order to demonstrate this. Just l l let us make another one run. Set your simulation time into infinity. Saving, double clicking, going back again. Hit run and let's change the power, module power. I'm moving the cursor left or right. As you can see, I'm getting my uh, results. Okay, suppose I, I would like to increase uh, up to one mega. I need one mega. Okay, so I, I would like to increase uh, module power up to 50 uh, kilowatt, as you can see here. Okay, and you can change temperature and uh, pressure as well if you would like. Okay, uh, that's enough. And uh, stop. Set, set it as zero again I'm, i would like not to forget and let's head back again to a data inspector from here okay so you can realize your uh, variation okay so i stopped here for a little bit okay and rotor speed uh, uh, voltage okay value was time so i can set this is infinity of time I can uh, uh, control this. I can uh, set my lim time limitations, I, m time ranges, inputs, outputs. It's it's easy, easy to handle, uh, no problem at all. Okay, okay, and let's delete all again and remove this. Okay, I, I need to co to calculate this one or to create this one. Okay, first of all, I have to download uh, this model. So suppose I have another copy. This one, that's clear. Okay. okay, this is the uh, previous version, analytical uh, version. Okay, okay, let's go here. Okay, this is based on our correlations and uh, 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 models. So I let's go here, double clicking. Yes, it's the same. But for this, for neural network, I need uh, a lot of data uh, in order to uh, um, uh, achieving. Uh, most fit model uh, and the validation should be high testing should be high root mean score errors should be minimized um, so therefore I need uh, uh, more points uh, to calculate this so therefore uh, I can go here this is the second version suppose you download it from the outside okay so this is the limitations I, I, I can control this one I can control this one. Uh, you can do this by doing uh, right click, just right click here. Okay, let's go for the previous one. Suppose you don't have the old version, so all you have to do is to right click here on your mask, going to mask, edit mask, 
going to parameters and we have here a, a rated power okay let's emphasize okay this is module power so it is a slider so i can select edit okay this is a slider okay going to up to 50 so suppose i i can choose edit hit apply and okay okay if you double click here you realize the following it's edit so i can write here my matrix from one for example step one up to uh, 50 kilowatt it's up to your design okay so i i just uh, let's hit back again and return everything uh, okay let's go here okay it's a slider slider horizontal and it's from 0 0.2 up to uh, 50 kilowatts of power and or suppose i need one kilowatt uh, hit, hit okay and double clicking you will find it uh, written it back again this is for example 100 i can control uh, maximum and, uh, and uh, minimum limits okay let's okay this is our old version so this is considering it uh, as a second version in order to uh, make my experiments let's go here so so i need uh, points from point two step point two, oh point one and uh, uh, up to 50 uh, kilowatt of power okay hit okay saving okay and i would like to clear my okay it's cleared let's go back and hit run and see we have to wait a little bit because it's uh, almost uh, five uh, 500 points so i uh, suppose i i would like to close this one no need and let's go back okay this is our main point it's up uh, it's about uh, uh, nearly uh, 499 points so it's nearly uh, 400 okay so all i need is just to collect my results my results are uh, um, uh, diameter uh, fin lens this is input horsepower or power in kilowatt okay uh, air so I, I need to create something i need to create uh, uh, to organize this so suppose i i would like uh, uh, a power okay i i'm sorry i have to wait a little bit because it's uh, it's hanged here i have to wait a little bit i'm sorry and let's organize our uh, uh, excel sheet first okay this is my excel sheet so i need to okay suppose this is uh, uh, module power okay in kilowatt and this is a uh, starting wind speed uh, rated wind speed uh, rbm for example rbm as a result um a, a power coefficient or uh, let it be a diameter total diameter uh, fin lens okay and we need another uh, okay uh, fin lens uh, and rbm fin lens diameter uh, start rated wind speed starting wind speed okay and the rest we can calculate it okay it, because um, uh, the rest of your results are depending uh, on uh, these uh, variables beside your uh, module power and total power okay i uh, this is your finlands okay let's go back and i need to transpose this transpose for example this is power so uh, hp uh, power is equal to hp and uh, transposed uh, hp for example so you can control c and 
organize everything here so you will find uh, 400 or 50 uh, 500 uh, set of points are uh, set here and uh, for example another example uh, let's go for um, a rated with the speed where is the uh, starting with the speed this one okay so uh, starting with the speed is equal to v when the speed transposed I'm sorry and it should be like this control C head back again and uh, we can uh, set it here okay uh, uh, based on all of this you can uh, do the following you, you can do the same the same uh, sequence you can do the same sequence so suppose I, I, I don't because I already organized this before let's uh, don't save this one okay so I organize this data you will find it here here your Excel sheet let's run it you will find your result uh, 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 already organized in this one so as you can see here uh, let's jump uh, into the main uh, uh, work here by doing our neural network okay I'm sorry expanding okay and this is our voltage okay all you have to do is to uh, if you if you uh, uh, just drag and drop here drag, drag this Excel sheet it's already contained on the, uh, within the model so all you have to do is to uh, drag and drop in your workspace and you will uh, uh, find it opened automatically here so as you can see here power wind power uh, starting wind speed rated wind speed rotor diameter so we need to uh, you can swap you can switch as a model from design to performance and from performance to design because this is a neural network so um, uh, this is ease of uh, of, uh, of dealing with it this is some kind of simplicity some kind of elasticity while uh, uh, creating your model because it's a neural network it can depend on how many inputs how um, uh, how many outputs one output versus five inputs five uh, uh, five outputs versus one input it's up to your uh, design all you have to do to choose a numeric matrix from here and select this row and exclude okay so suppose I need uh, one input which is a power module power okay versus the rest oh okay so suppose I have this one just to click on on it highlight it and just to click on port but before this I, I would like to clear my workspace okay so I would like to import this so it is imported and I would like to rename it as input okay and you can choose uh, uh, for example suppose I need a two input you can uh, just click here and control suppose I have power and starting with speed as input if you import this you will find this is a 500 or four, uh, 499 multiplied by two columns this is your input data but uh, I would like uh, I will not use it delete okay let's go back for the outputs so I, I, I would like to start with but uh, be sure that uh, the, imp the first parameter you would, you would like to select is the first output you would get okay this is a start wind speed I need rated wind speed rotor hold hold control and select uh, fan length RBM torque is should be calculated based on Omega efficiency should be calculated number of blades and voltage so this is our uh, main outputs click import and let's go back you will find it here so I, I will just one click and I will rename it as output okay so we have here input and output let's go for applications selecting neural uh, neural net fitting okay select this one okay now I'm going to create our uh, model 
and click next. Uh, here are uh, inputs, outputs, and click to matrix of rows. Click to next. For this one, I do recommend um, for validation is 10% validation uh, because we already have uh, 500 points. Okay, no, uh, there's no uh, there's no meaning to be afraid of uh, the fittings. The fittings are, are surely will be high. And testing is five, so I training training should be uh, uh, high. Okay, click next. Neurons um, maybe five is enough, as I think. Click next. Now we are creating our uh, uh, training our uh, system. Just to click train, and we have to watch our performance. Okay, this is our performance. Okay validation and regression this is very important your regression what is your regression all our uh, root mean square are equal one this is the finest thing you can get our root mean square is equal one so uh, uh, it is no point uh, point nine or point seven it is just one so this model is quite uh, good there's no need to make another training one enough root mean square is equal to one Training, validation, test, and all are in uh, in uh, in one. But we have to wait a little bit because depending on your uh, time, your computer uh, power. So it uh, it finished. So let's go here. Okay, this is our performance. Okay, and uh, regression. Regression is uh, uh, root square error is. Uh, very fine all you have to do is to close this one okay close performance and let's go here for uh, uh, next okay click this next again and see link we you can extract your function you can extract your uh, diagram it's up to your um, uh, favorable model you would like to deal with I, I, I stick myself with a uh, simulink it, it will be created automatically so as you can see here we have a, a input and we have output let's go here I, I would like to try to uh, uh, organize this so I need one uh, uh, input so click here going to constant which is a power okay drag and drop here okay okay suppose I need uh, 10 kilowatt of power and don't, don't forget that we have here how many outputs two three four five six seven outputs so we need uh, seven outputs you can do this going to uh, dmux okay and double clicking seven outputs okay so as you can see here we have seven outputs okay uh, suppose we have here the following uh, uh, let's copy from here no need to create it from the beginning control C and uh, go here just an example control V okay uh, we have a starting with wind speed rated wind speed uh, rotor diameter I think is the second one is rotor diameter you have to uh, rotor diameter fin lens okay fin lens fin lens is the uh, okay fin lens connect uh, rbm okay uh, number of blades after rbm is number of blades and voltage number of uh, blades okay and voltage we have here voltage okay uh, for this one let's hit run and see set your submission time into zero and saving uh, for example it's a trial a trial okay save just a try and hit run okay for 10 kilowatts of power let's go here and, and where is 10 kilowatt of power? Yes, 10 kilowatt of power. Yes, uh, 10 kilowatt. We need starting CED. Okay, we need this one. 
2.9 let's checking yes 2.9 and I read it let's check on here and see yes 2.9 starting with the speed read it with the 12 okay the same 12 rotor diameter is 5.6 yes 5.64 fill length is nearly 7 7 yes it's the same the same results you can get voltage this is uh, the voltage let's see the voltage yes 300.2 okay let's go here and check voltage three high uh, yes 322 uh, power uh, voltage so now you have this one you have created a model based on your data results you can collect your results from a, f a graphical interface from a, f a curve fitting from a manual from it's out your uh, system design and you can you can uh, 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 I, I mean you can switch or swap the, the system this is design you can switch it you can simply switch it suppose I, I will do this the, the following let's close this one I'm closing uh, yes okay uh, I will keep this one as a trial close the neural network okay no need for it okay and uh, let's see clear okay all you have to do is to organize your uh, your data this is very important organize it first in excel sheet or and we can then control what uh, what is your input and what is your output okay okay the idea is to uh, uh, you can create your model based on your uh, uh, data results uh, it's up to your uh, uh, the first thing or the most important thing is to get your result your data this is the most important thing something like this okay and there is no need for this uh, for this uh, uh, let's say closing okay and this is our main model I, I I need to delete this there is no need for for the clearing okay so as you can see here you can this is a design mode you can uh, select your operating conditions I, I suppose I need 200 uh, kilowatt of power and rated power is uh, all, uh, 40, 40 kilowatts for uh, for uh, bare medium saving and hit run okay this is our main results when the speed starting with the speed rotor diameter fill length rotor and uh, you can uh, find your results output here you can find it here you can use it if you would like this is a neural network uh, the, the methodology of creating a neural network ha ha um, has been domesticated today uh, first of all, I would like to thank you very much for your interest in our model. Don't forget to like, share, and uh, subscribe. Uh, thank you very much.